broadcast this morning? Are you? Are you? Do you want a treat? Huh? <laughs> Let's talk to the plants. I'm going to bring in my husband. Yes, I did. Hi, y'all. <laughs> when I'm in the car, it takes a while. Ellie, put on your clothes, ma'am. She is not even buckled all the way. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Hey, hey, welcome to Saturday. I'm fixing to do a thing that I don't even, I know y'all thinking I wear this shirt every day because that's really accurate. But I'm trying to decide if for this interview I'm fixing to do, um, if I want to sit right here, I want to sit in my office, but because it's it's not sunny yet, so anyway, I don't know if y'all just saw my little bleep of this right here. Come on. You all see this? This is flat to gel. Did y'all see? And my look, that is all that's in my hair right now is flax gel. I did a no poo this morning, you know, just cleanse with conditioner basically. Left it in my hair about 10 minutes while I did makeup, coconut oil, and that kind of thing. Then, rinsed it out like normal. Took my flax gel with, you know, I rinse it. I leave it on up in my towel, you know, my microfiber towel while I do my makeup. And then, which really isn't even 10 minutes. Then, I rinse it under cool water under the faucet. And then, um, I basically, sometimes I take a to pick. I have used a Denman brush before, but it's kind of hard to get through my hair. I always feel like it's pulling it out. But anyway, I take, usually take a pick or my fingers and run it through the hair. And then typically either I just will scrunch, okay, and then put it in a few minutes of a plop, okay, in a microfiber towel, and then squish out the extra water. With a t-shirt or microfiber towel is a big deal because a regular towel creates frizz, but this is not a hair tutorial uh, clearly show I'm here to tell you something else but anyway so but today sometimes I will use Shea Moisture Curl Custard or I also like recently the Bee Leave In um, it's it sounds like a leave-in conditioner and it kind of is a conditioner but it's more like um, a very light gel from Diva Curl. All of those are vegan and cruelty free, but clearly they still have chemicals, right? We know that. I mean, even with the Zuzu Cosmetics or the Pure Cosmetics, you still got chemicals in there, which I would like to slowly back away from, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, this is just flax gel. So today, after I'm kind of squishing out, I took about a good a good bit, probably about um, let's say about uh, two to three tablespoons. So a good bit. I put it in my hand and did this. I did the praying hands method upside down. You know where you just smooth over the outside, okay? And then I kind of ran my fingers through and I did squish like a squish to condition. You'll know what I'm talking about if you do like a curly girl method. Anyway, and then basically. I did some more with the towel drying and let it sit up for a few minutes. Then I just diffuse on cool. I don't use heat anymore. I've been heat free for almost a year now. So anyway, this is the flax gel. Now what you do is you want to take flax seeds, which you want to get non-roasted. You want to get raw flax seeds. You can get those from Red Mill brand. You can get them. Costco's has them now, Walmart, but you want to make sure to get raw flax seeds, not roasted or anything. You want to take about a quarter cup. Um, I didn't really squeeze mine out of the way, so it would have probably made about twice this much. Also, I'm not sure how long this lasts because it does not have a preservative. You need to keep it in the fridge, so I want to just try it out. You know, may no flax go wasted that you're not going to use on your hair that you could be eating, right? So anyway, um, in a little saucepan, and I'll tell you, this is really going to be the easiest way to do it. You take about two and a half cups of water. Obviously, you're going to want to use your fil filtered water, distilled water. You're not going to want to put chemicals in your hair that you don't need. Another thing with the shower filter and all that, but that's another story. So anyway, you got two and a half cups of water. You got a quarter cup of flax seeds, okay? You put it into the saucepan, a small saucepan, and you bring it up to boil. You're going to stir it occasionally. It's going to be like making... Um, Oat groats are old-fashioned oatmeal. You know how it kind of gets that foam on the top and you sort of stir it in? 
Well, after it's been there a little while and it starts to get where you can pull the spoon out, uh, turn the heat down a little bit, you start to see like a gel consistency. Take it off the heat and let it sit there for about 30 minutes. Then what you can do is take it and you can pour it through what would be a nut milk bag or a pantyhose stocking. Now, what I did is I have a pretty a good colander. It's not really a colander. Um, let me show it to you. Well, it's wet now. But anyway, it's uh, it's what you see me. It's a strainer. Strain that um, blended celery and water in sometimes. Though usually I actually use a juicer, but if I was going to. So anyway, you just run it through there. You give it a tap tap and it all comes through the bottom. And then, I mean, if you want to get out every little inch, like you could put it through something squeeze, but I just wasn't messing with it. So I, I just discarded the rest of that, okay, which, um, see those are cooked now, so I ain't eating that. But anyway, then you pour it in here and you use it in your hair. Yes, you do. So that's exciting. Now I'll show you who has, I tell you who has a good tutorial on that is Bianca Renee Today. She has a YouTube channel and she uh, has a, I don't know her, um, it's probably Bianca Renee, her her handle here on Instagram. But anyway, she is has very tight, she has the curls that one day I feel like I'm going to wake up with, but I'm, <laughs> that's wishful thinking, right? So anyway, um, she has tighter coil curls, and anyway, you can type in on, on just YouTube, you can type in Bianca Renee Today Flaxseed Gel, and she has got a four minute tutorial on that. Now, I'll tell you something funny about me, is this is actually another way you could do it, okay? Now, what I just told you would be the correct way to do it. Here's how it went down in the kitchen of Love and Light, okay? So, I obviously have a giant, very heavy cutting board across my stove because, you know, I'm a raw foodist, okay? And I also have no pots, no pans, no nothing. I used to have a couple of those things when Christopher lived at home, but now that he doesn't, I get, I said, take those with you. <laughs> so anyway, but what I do have that's never been used is since he's been gone, because he used to do like some popcorn or, you don't even know what he, he, that's not even the point. Anyway, it's a microwave. So what you could do is you could take what's like a craft of some sort, like an older coffee pot craft or a bigger bowl. You could add in the same one and a half cups of water, quarter cup flaxseed into the bowl, okay? And you want to use already warmed water, room temperature. And then what you want to do is put that in the bowl or the coffee carafe, right? Into something else because it could boil over, okay? And then about halfway through, you want to cook it up for about six or eight minutes, but about halfway through, take a little spoon, stir it around, make sure all the flax are actually submerged, right? They're taking a swim. So anyway, then you get it out, you let it cool, and you proceed with the thing. So there is an actual reason for the microwave. I was like, because, I look, in my last house, I thought, okay, well, I'm going to get rid of this stove. And then when I went to sell the house, I mean, when I started thinking about it, you actually have to have a stove to sell a house. I mean, <laughs> which is ridiculous and discriminatory against raw vegans of the world. Do, do, do. So anyway, the microwave, there is a reason for it, right? Yes. <laughs> hey, Parker, what are you doing? <clears throat> anyway, so that's going on. And in a little bit, does anybody know what time it is? I'm talking to this lady named Marie, and she is doing a, what's going to be like a, a webinar type thing. Um, it's a summit, so to speak, like I did before. But there's going to be Joel Furman there. There's going to be Dr. Graham. There's going to be the fabulous and talented Chris Kendall of Rock Vantage. And there's going to be Tanya Rowell and many others. But today I'm doing an interview at 9 o'clock with her. And it's questions like, I love to answer all the questions. But I, for me to streamline a thought on this question. So, if people wanted to eat a healthier diet, where would they start? That's cricket you hear because <laughs> that's these balls in my brain. And if you will remember on Sesame Street back in the 70s, there was this thing and it looked like a pinball machine. 
and it was a cartoon and they would let the pinballs go which would be the thoughts in my mind and they would cruise down you know and it would be right what well, see that depends on who you are where you are where you want to be right so and then um with the holidays coming tanny raw how can we keep from eating junk food again who am I talking to? You know? First of all, never assume anyone is going to accommodate you, right? Never. Never assume you don't need to bring your own food, okay? Never assume when your mommy says, back in the day, when I tried to eat cooked food, and did my whole life, but when I was trying to get healthy, well, Tanya, those are just natural beings. No, Mom, those are Lux beans out of a can with powder on there from this packet from Walmart that says taco seasoning. Okay, there's nothing natural about that, okay? I'm like, are you trying to kill me? Death by my mama's beans, okay? So, anyway, we have a lot of things to talk about, and then I have a free gift I'm giving the friends that are watching. And anyway, I, if you're on my email list, tannyroll.com, okay? you can be notified when this is coming out and it should be quite great. And I did this once before with the fabulous Karen and Rick Dina, who I love. And um, I was so excited to get to talk to them. This is kind of a new friend on the scene and she um, has not been plant-based that long herself, I don't think. So, um, you know, that's what, that's, hey, Paige, how are you? <laughs> oh, man. If I really could just, I was thinking about um, hiring myself out, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in with you, all right? And I'm going to stay there until you know what the heck to do, right? And I'm not doing it for you. And by the time I leave, you will know exactly what to do to the point to you, where you could actually move in with somebody. Linda, hey, beautiful. Going to a costume party tonight, bringing my own food and enough to share. What are you bringing, Linda? Will you tell us about that? By the way, if y'all don't know this, you will be one of my clients. Paige! That was... <laughs> Dimensions of existence. What is your name? I forget. I've seen your page before, I think. Anyway, and then I'm going over to Greenville today, and um, and then my friend Candy is not too far. She's in Charleston today, Parker, because Big Daddy, which is, is her husband's name, that's what she calls him, um, which is funny because you want to think of this like um, Big John, like that guy that died in the bottom of the coal mine and field that they talk about at Dollywood, you know? But he's not. He's kind of a small guy. But it's funny because she... <laughs> he's not small to her, but to me because I am, you know, <clears throat> an Amazon style girl. You have been following me for four years. Who is that? Salvi Abba? Salvi Abba. Hello, friend. So anyway, I'm going to be doing that. And, um... So Parker Candy is there, and she was saying, like, if you would not be weird, okay, and you would expand your inner circle, Tanya, we could do a thing. And I said, I need to think about that. I need to breathe, and I need to realize that you love me just like I am, and <laughs> but I have been on a water fast for five days, and today... I will be breaking that. I'm having some warm lemon water right now <clears throat> to start the digestive system from mo moving. Then I'm going to be having some celery juice and cucumber juice. I say cucumber juice. That's only going to be if I can find them reasonably. But what I find is interesting is over time doing a water fast, um, I don't find that hard. I don't find it difficult at this point. I don't have a whole lot of detox symptoms. But I do notice that if I go a while without any kind of 
um, sodium and potassium coming in, my eyes will feel a little dry like they do now. They're a little dry and itchy. And um, what's interesting is I'm thinking to extend this experiment by looking at how when I bring in the uh, cucumber juice, if I have that, and the celery juice, because I, I do have that, how my eyes will uh, brighten back up. They don't really feel puffy, but they feel a little bit grainy. That's what it is. <clears throat> Thank you, Karen. I do not have an accent. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> so I'll tell you more about the water fast this week. And I, I really did that for some mind expansion. And um, just some thinking about what routes in my life I want to take coming up in this next year. And just some different things. And I find that when I minimize my vital force going to digestion that I can think even more clearly. I did not weigh myself before I started that nor after because it was not, I did that on purpose because it was not about weight loss, though these are pants from the very smallest, smallest section in my closet. Um, but to me, nowadays my body balances out pretty quickly. You know, it depends on when you, some people, they could go on a five-day water fast, and they could have quickly dropped 20 pounds. You know, I'm, I might be down two or three. I'm not really sure. Um, so it's also time for my cycle, which I usually don't puff up too bad, but that could play in too. But I feel very streamlined and alive. I had no lack of energy, no lack of... But um, I'm not one to constantly weigh myself either. I don't like to be a slave to the scale like that. I really get, especially now that I, I work out and do weight training, there is a fine line on that because you could have actually gained a little muscle and you, and as women, not just as women, but a lot of times women get in this mind funk of, well, that's a pound and then you want to, and you can see so many people that do nothing but constant, concrete pounding cardio, okay? limit their calories, all this, and, and then they start to weight train, and maybe they're still doing some cardio, but it's less cardio, and uh, you'll even see their numbers. Maybe in this picture, they weigh 127, 137, whatever, and in this picture, they basically weigh the same, but the body composition on the same person is totally different. Over here, they might have more going on through the midsection. You know, they're a little wider, they were a little more flabby, which is not a, a polite word, but you know what I mean. They're just not as tight. And then they had um, just more slumped shoulders. They didn't look like they had the posture. But over here, at the same weight, they look very uh, streamlined, like they're very erect standing up. They have some nice shoulders. They, they are carrying strength, but not bulk. Um, and they actually look narrow, but more tight with more muscle definition and weighing the same thing. My point is, with that, is the scale is not really accurate. You know what I'm saying? Um, on the same note, I don't think it's a great idea to be saying, oh, well, this friend said I could eat all the food, eat all the carbs until I vomit. You know this thought train? <clears throat> But yet you're gaining 15 pounds every month. And you don't understand after three months when you've gained 45 pounds why this ain't working. Because possibly that ain't working for you. You're eating too much, babe. So, um, anyway. Do you ever put lemon or ginger in your celery juice? <clears throat> I find it hard to take on its own. I really, uh... Sometimes I will do a lime and ginger and cilantro and celery juice. So sometimes I'll do a low glycemic green juice, meaning having other things, but typically I like celery juice on its own. Now, if you are bringing in conventional, regular celery and not springing for organic, I find that to be um, really pungent and you really can't get rid of the pesticides on that, which is a problem. Can somebody tell me what time it is? Because the lady, I'm talking to her on Zoom. Have you ever done that? Because I haven't. I had to download it. And <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I was supposed to talk to her last Saturday and Friday. It's 8.14. Okay, thank you. Um, 
8.15. I, I was going to talk to her on Saturday, and she had sent a message and said, I'm sorry she hadn't been in touch. She wasn't feeling good, but the show must go on. I was in Greenville, and it was 8.30 at night. When I had gotten back from my little trip I took for a few days, which is another whole thing. Anyway, so my phone had gotten to where it, the battery was only lasting for like five minutes from a full charge. Well, anyway, I had talked to the people, um, Apple and all, I had to make an appointment at seven o'clock at night. Y'all, that traffic from Greenville to here at that time of night is horrendous. So it took me an hour to get over there and I was in that mall and I couldn't even like talk to y'all. I had no phone. I was like looking around thinking, why are, do people shop in the mall? Like, do you know how expensive, do you know what Ross is? Anyway, so I'm in there and when I got out, it was almost nine o'clock and I had to come all the way home and I was like, hey, so like, do you, can we do it another day? Like, is this the only time you have I can do it? But she's like, I'm not really feeling good anyway. That would be great. So now here we are. Yes, I don't know if you have an iPhone 6. Yes, I do. But they made a charge case that gives you 27 extra hours. <gasps> How much is it? You know what's interesting is this friend I was seeing um, loves to be right. Okay. <laughs> didn't take me long to figure that out but anyway he loves to be right and he loves to debate people about things which is also an interesting combination <laughs> with me but um he was like well what's why are you having to bring your cord around everywhere you know I'm like because I was wanting to, to video this little concert thing we went to and I was like well, is there a plug he's like why are you plugging that thing in I'm like, because here's the thing, so anyway, he gets on this chat, and he like debated these people for an hour, and anyway, they gave me a, a free, new free battery that was going to be, I don't know how much, but for free, which was pretty impressive. <laughs> so I politely sent a message and said, hey, you know, that thing they said might be $29, that might be the cheapest they could do. They actually gave it to me for free. That's the thing you did. He's like, you just text me because you missed me, didn't you? That's what I was thinking. No, I was really... <laughs> Should I wear this for the interview? What do y'all think? I thought it looked festive for the, the time of year. Anyway, or should I change? Can I get some advice? Yes, the gel is exciting. I was telling Carly about this, and I think it could be even a little more thick, but I don't know if you can see. Let me not pour that out the floor. You can't really tell how it's actually thicker than it looks right there. See it clinging to the side? And see, mine smells like lavender because I dropped a couple of little essential oil lavender drops in there. <laughs> That's funny, that's how it smells. Parker, I loved having you on, and I was thinking about doing a segment like that because that went so good and you were so delightful, and you're cute too, and I was trying to tell my daughter, like, hey, did you see Parker in here? <laughs> anyway, so... I was thinking about doing a segment about people who have a healing story or furthermore they have a healing story where they're just beginning but they realize that healing is real what do you think so what do y'all think should we be in the interview right here because then i could have ellie and it's nice to have a prof you know and plus she wants to see everybody that follows dr joel Furman, right these are new people Curly girls got to help each other out because you know what is that, Ellie, if you're going to be on, we need to adjust this jacket, okay? Or did you want to be naked? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and don't be showing your hoo-hoo to the world either. <laughs> anyway, you like this outfit, Parker? Oh, oh, I was talking about right here. 
See, I think it's nice rather than me holding the phone and then you're like up in my nostrils because some people are not used to that and they're like, listen, Tanny, that makes me uncomfortable, okay? <laughs> so I'm way back here. Like we met on, I don't know, okay Cupid, and we met for a hot tea and you're on your side of the table, like very non-invasive, you know what I mean? going to say, sometimes I just think at this point in my granny existence, I mean, I've experienced love in my life. I, I was married for 21 years. I know you're sick of hearing that, but that is an accomplishment. <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, and if you go on a, t on a tea date, you have to bring your own tea because you don't know. I mean, I, do we have a new place in town that's this tea bar? It's not even that. It's kind of like spice something. You can get, um, anyway, they serve hot teas, and I was going to choose one. And I was, like, so excited, and I was thinking the properties, and it was no caffeine and all this. Oh, I have to tell you something else exciting, too, about this headband. But when she went to make it, I was like, by the way, um, what kind of water are you using in that? Now, this is a mile from my house downtown. So I realized that they're using city water. And I know what's in that stuff because I see it, smell it, scrape it, investigate it, look at it. And she said, well, we just use tap water. And I was like, the city water? And I was like, I'm going to need to cancel that order. I'm sorry. I am not putting that in my body, okay? And the owner was in there at the same time, and I was thinking, is he not picking up on this? What are you doing? Anyway, so there's this new thing. I want to think they're called jazzy bands. Okay, you know how I normally like, are y'all impressed I don't have my sunglasses in today? So, the reason I don't typically wear a headband is because it gives me a migraine. I don't know if you call it a migraine. It's a bad headache, though. It won't go away. <laughs> anyway. But with the sunglasses, it doesn't put pressure in that type of area. Well, I was just cruising along on, I don't know, somewhere where the, the powers that be think I'm trying to shop, and I wasn't, and then I was because they knew what I needed. So it was like um, created by a, I don't know what he called a person that would research headaches, a headache doctor style person, created by a person like this. It was this headband that shaped like sunglasses. Now, if you see this, I don't know if you can see. Let's see. Okay, so it goes flat across right here, you see, and then it curves down. You see? So so it looks like this, okay? I have another one. Do you want to see? It, it does like this, okay? So I could, it has like a giant square. And then it comes behind the ears and it curves around. It's a little, do you see it? Look at it. It's brilliant. I, <laughs> anyway, they weren't that cheap, but if you got, they had a coupon code, which, duh, you're going to use. So you could get two for like $14, which it was free shipping, which I thought, well, you would probably have to pay $7 for a pair of sunglasses, and then people are going to call you shades when you go everywhere, and they're going to be like, Tanya, it's snowing outside. Why do you have sunglasses? Why are you wearing sunglasses? I'm not. That's my headband. How many times do we need to review this? Okay? How many? None now because now I have these. Is that not? It's beautiful. Karen, what do you think? Karen sent me a little video I was going to watch, but then I got sidetracked filming my flaxseed gel. I want to talk about anything else before I go. Can anybody give me an updated time? So I'm going to be talking to her. And what else was she asking me? Um, she's going to ask me about my healing story, which is great. And then she wants to ask me about where do people start. You know where people start? They start with figuring out why they want to start. Why? And not just because, like we've said, I won't give this example, but like we've said, you're like, well, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to lose some weight and you're a dude. Why do you want to lose some weight? 
because you feel like you're a, you're a 40 year old virgin and you're thinking like sex sounds cool and you might like to have some, right? <laughs> so you're thinking that if you got rid of your man boobs, that you could have the sex. I mean, can we break it down? Can we? We won't use that example. That is funny though. But look, or, or maybe you're like, well, I want to feel like playing with my kids. I, I want to feel better for my family. That's too generalized. Because when life gets hard, you know, every day, and when nobody understands, like nobody does, when nobody's doing it, because nobody will be, if your why's not strong enough, you'll never stick to it. So why do you want to feel better for your family? I don't know. Maybe your husband is actually Satan, and you wonder what will happen to your kids when you ain't making it anymore. Maybe, I mean, what does that look like? Really bring it home. Or you're thinking, well, I want to feel better and feel like playing with my kids. Well, why? What does it look like now? You're working all day. You pick them up from school. One's at daycare. One's at the junior high. One's at the elementary school. I don't know why you have three kids, but you did, right? Because you wanted them. And now you're like, I can't deal with these kids. Is it because you don't love them? No, it's not. It's because you feel like heck. It's because at night, you want to feel better because they're saying, Mama, 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 read me a story, Mama, read me. And they're fighting, and you're thinking, Will you just shut the heck up and go to bed? I'll be glad when these kids go to bed. I'll just be glad when. Why? Because that's how you feel inside. But when you feel good, Everything's easier, even the tricky stuff. I mean, really, that that's where you start. Really a well-defined why. That's where, and I like that because it applies to everybody, no matter where you are. You want to start exercising? Well, I want to be fit. <clears throat> that's no good. Why do you want to be fit? Why do you want to start exercising? Because you see that your mom now has atrophy of all the muscles. You see that she used to love to work in the yard and now she can't get her, her bark chips and mulch bags out of her trunk. You know, you see that she's not strong. You don't want to be that. You want to be strong. Furthermore, you also see everyone around you becoming decrepit. Who's going to take care of your loved ones? You are. And you want to feel like that so you don't live in resentment. But you live in love that you have the opportunity to care for the ones who care for you. That's the daughter I want to be. You know? Are you tired of your clothes choosing you when you go to the closet? You're not choosing them? They're choosing you because you can only allow yourself to go to this section that's the elastic pants, the black pants, the navy pants, the pull-on pants. Why do you think everybody's wearing pajamas to Walmart? Because no one has a waist, and that feels better. Do you want to be that? No, you don't. I mean, you know, you, you want to feel better and, and feel better in your skin. Maybe you're a teenage girl and you think, well, the only way to get the attention of, of a dude I like or a guy or any guy is to actually put all of my boobs out. You know, to wear pants so low that my thong is showing because that gets attention. But what kind of attention does it get? Degrading attention. You want to develop some self-love so you can set up some boundaries in your life. So you only allow people in your life that belong in your life, that show you love and respect. Not taking what somebody will throw out to you. Not taking crap off people. Because you don't take crap off yourself. That's a why. You know? I mean, why do you want to develop self-love? By having a healthy body, mind, soul, and spirit. So you are not so drug around like everybody in this world today comparing yourself to everybody in the phone that only shows you their self through a filter, through the perfect vacation, the perfect picture, the everybody smiling all the time. No, they're not. 
you're living up to expectations that other people can't even live up in their own life, they're showing that, you know? That's a good why. So why? Why do you want to do different to get different? That right there is where you start, right? How do you get past the holidays without eating junk? You switch your whole mindset. You start with this day. Furthermore, this meal and this moment. And you recognize the fact that I think there's 62 days till the beginning of the year. When you walk into the beginning of the year, if you take the path that most people do now to where Halloween, which is this coming, it's already started at your work, right? The candy pumpkins are everywhere. The candy corns, it's not even food, it's plastic, right? I mean, Furthermore, you bought them for apples. What kind of apples are those things bobbing around in? What kind of water? And what kind of wax-coated apples? Have you ever seen these apples that they take the machine and barely scrape around the edge? And you have all this petroleum. Anyway, you go the route of everybody else, and you just go with the flow. Well, everybody else is eating candy. Everybody else is tricks or treating, you know? Everybody else is going to the costume party and getting slammed. You know, killing your organs. You don't have a healthy liver, you ain't healthy. You'll start gaining weight over time and you don't understand why. Because your detoxification organs don't work. That's a problem. But hey, everybody's doing it. It's peer pressure of the worst kind. Right? So then, we're going to have all those parties, you know, then we're going to have the aftermath of after the party. You have a hangover from food hangover, alcohol hangover. The next day you're going to try to mute that down with, you know, more food, right? And then after all, that was only Wednesday, so what the heck? I might as well look away and begin again another day. I mean, in a few days on Monday. But then why really bother? Because Thanksgiving's coming, right? you got to travel out of town. Well, how could you possibly eat a healthy diet traveling? Because you can, because it's your lifestyle. It's who you are, right? But you didn't do that. And then you trickle on into Christmas and the work parties and the hoo-ha and all this. Then there's New Year's Eve. Well, what the heck? Are you going to start before that? No. So then the beginning of the year, which is approximately 62 days from now, you are that much further away from where you even started. And now you're going to have a New Year's resolution. Might you come to the resolve in your mind that now is the time. Hmm? Now's the time. This moment in time. There's no better time than now. Because there will always be another party, another happy thing, another sucky thing. There will always be something. There will always be something in your inbox until there's not. And that's when you're dead. There's always something. There is always peaks and valleys until there's not. And you're flatlined. Because you're dead. So until that time, the end of your time, there's always something. So why are you waiting on this next something to go by? Why does it matter? Better yet, if the something going on is today, why not start today? Because if you can master this moment when the something's going on, you can master all the moments. What do you think? There's always something. Domino effect excuses. Yes, I will say thank you to Sarah for that. <laughs> hey, shine your light. So anyway, I just want to tell you what I was doing, and I wanted to see how we thought this was. I think it's nice here, and I have some new ear bobs, which my dad would call these earrings. Look at these. I got these for $2 on the clearance. Look, Ben. He's cute. <laughs> and then Ellie's going to freshen up her face. She, you have to be brushed. Huh? You want to be brushed? Yes, you do. <laughs> And then she's going to fix her sweater, and I think it just looks nice with this. And we're going to talk to this lady.
you know. I mean, and here's another thing. Maybe you don't think, maybe, maybe you can't come up with your why because you think, well, I'm not that person. I'm, I'm not the person who has willpower. I'm not the person who sticks to it. I'm not, you know, because you have proved yourself to be a liar to yourself. You've said you were going to do it so many times. I have this friend that has an addiction to Diet Coke. And every day she drinks it. And every day, at the end of the day, she says to herself, Tomorrow I'm not doing that. Tomorrow will be the day. Tomorrow's the day I'm going to eat healthy and I'm going to have water and I'm going to walk past that Coke machine and I'm going to hear the buzzing. This somehow feels like a comforting sound to me because it's the buzzing of what gives me the hit to calm my addiction. Tomorrow I'm not going to do it gets up the next day, she rides the elevator up to work, right? She hears, she hears the machine, she sees it, she walks past it. She makes it into her office, right? She goes along all day, she's packed all this stuff, she has the high-speed blender, she's got the best juicer, she's got the rematter, she's got the shiny new thing that's going to make her do it, but she's forgotten the shiniest thing. The strongest thing that's going to make you do it is the inside integrity that you're going to have to the promises you've made to yourself. But how many times have we made promises to ourselves and we don't stick to those, right? So she's doing her work and all this, and then later in the day, something happens. She comes out of her office. She goes down the hall. She has her dollar in her hand, or however much they cost. And she hears, hmm. And somehow in that moment that she's standing in front of the beautiful lights that draw her in, like a moth to the bug zapper, right? It's an addiction. As she's standing there, she somehow turns off her brain and acts like none of that exists. And she gives in to her addiction. And she gets home and she beats herself up and she thinks she's a failure and she's a liar to herself again and again and again. And nobody even knows what's going on in her mind. And in her mind, if she ate the, uh, the whatever or drank the, the diet soda, she knows how bad it is for her. She's done all, she, she is a, 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 a botanist, a scientist. She's a smart lady. She sat at the front of the class, unlike me. She understands what it's doing to her. She understands that all her teeth are rotting out from that. She understands that that causes osteoporosis to your bones. She knows all that because she's smart. You know? But because she gives in to that, she goes in and thinks, well, screw it. I already did that. I might as well have chicken pot pie for dinner or whatever. And it's a vicious cycle. When are you going to snap out of it? Hmm? A good friend of mine told me that one time. She wrote it down in her journal. And she allow me to share that. I read it one time on um, somewhere, I think it was YouTube, she allowed me to share it and it's their name. But every time I see her, her name, I think of that. And I think of what a strong, smart woman. Beautiful. She's a wife and a mommy and a grandmommy, you know? And she rides motorcycles, and she, she just lives for the moment, but yet plans for the future. But it's that one thing in her life that she can't seem to overcome because it's an addiction. So when you think, well, why the heck can't I get off this food? Because the same <clears throat> engineering and test and, and all this money being dumped into why drugs affect the brain in a certain way is also being turned into why the drugs on Doritos can affect your brain and light up the receptors in your brain and make you come back for some more again and again and again. People say, oh, you can't be addicted to food. Oh, my friend. 
Most food is chemicals. Can you be addicted to chemicals? Yes, you can. You know? Yeah. Live for the moment and make plans for the future. That's what I try to be. You know? Because so many, so many of the world now, and it's like, um, so many things coming at you, you know? Oh, you're going to make this evergreen income, or you make something, and then you never work again, and you, you lay on the beach, and you, okay, I don't know anyone in my real life doing that. I find that when I work hard for a dollar, I make a dollar. When I put good out into the world, I receive good. When I get up every day and do every last thing I can, then I make it. And I want to live in this moment, but yet in my lifetime, there's always been a future. There's always been another day. So I'm going to plan like there is that, you know. So I'm going to go because I'm going to be meeting with Maria, but um, I appreciate your friendship today and, uh, and just the love and light you give out to the world. And I want you to know that if you've been that person that's felt like a liar to yourself, we've all been that. And we're all that on many areas. You can master yourself when you come up with your why, you know? You come up with your why you matter. And maybe you might be saying, well, Tanya, I don't know how to love myself because I don't love myself. When I look in the mirror, I hate myself. I understand. Because I was you too. We're all one, you know. We all have those, we all have those emotions. We all have those vulnerabilities, you know. Just like my friend Candy is in is in Charleston, and I think, well, if I hang out with her, will will she think I'm enough? I'm that girl too, you know. Just like you. I think when we can start seeing that about people, we can start putting out love into the world, you know, and not just seeing the speck in somebody else's eye while we don't even see the log in our own. Showing up with love, you know, isn't that right? And you have to get fresh for the interview. <laughs> I love y'all. I hope you have a great day. Bye.